Do you ever wish you could experience something again for the first time? Like you just came out of seeing a movie that you thought was amazing and would give anything to wipe your memory of it so you could see it again? Just one more time without knowing what's gonna happen? I've experienced that feeling a lot in life and I'm sure you probably have too. For me, I often get this feeling in correlation with movies or books. But sometimes it happens with real life things too. I looked everywhere to see if this feeling slash phenomenon had its own terminology, since I feel as though it's a pretty common human emotion, but I couldn't find anything anywhere. So I took it upon myself to come up with a term, <laughs> just so I can use it instead of a whole bunch of words when I'm referring to it throughout this video. So um, let's call it something fancy. Like Eurasia. Uh, yeah, that sounds super scientific and smart and stuff. So when I say Eurasia, I mean the desire to erase, hence the Eurasia, the Eurasia. I'm so sorry. I, I mean the desire to erase your memory of an event or piece of media specifically because you want to be able to have the feeling of discovering and experiencing it for the first time again. Now, this is very different than just wanting to wipe a movie from your brain because it was bad. I have also been feeling that feeling a lot recently. It's making me sad. But <clears throat> yes, so Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds captured this notion for me that I've always found to be a profoundly remarkable aspect of the human experience. And that's the feeling of Eurasia. Some of my favorite movies, like Fight Club, I would pay good money to get to rewatch again. And as you could probably guess, Outer Wilds is also a piece of art that I would happily pay money to experience for the first time again. Like, sure, I could go back and rewatch Fight Club anytime I want, but I can never go back to the version of Silly that didn't know what was going to happen. With Outer Wilds, I can boot it up and have fun exploring, but that intrigue of not understanding and not knowing and simply exploring to uncover the nature of my surroundings is no longer something I can do. It's those initial moments of discovery that I personally find the most satisfactory in, and I'm kind of sad that I can't do that anymore. However, that's not to say there isn't any merit to this second or third or fourth experience. If anything, when you go back to rewatch Fight Club or replay Outer Wilds, your now unerasable knowledge of the text creates a completely new experience between you and the piece of media. You can experience it in a way that the previous version of you would not have been able to. So in a way, there's an entirely new experience to be had. And I probably will load it up again to explore for fun, but with all honesty, it isn't with the same level of excitement. The excitement of the unknown. Now, I am a person when it comes to writing and storytelling as a whole that needs to be grounded with character. I often feel overwhelmed by large amounts of world building. For example, I was actually scared of Lord of the Rings for a while, because my tiny brain with only like two megabytes of CPU space, that doesn't even make sense, but it can't remember it. Even if it's really interesting to me, I simply can't because brain. So Outer Wilds, honestly, scared me a bit when I was recommended it by some of my lovely subscribers because it's not normally my type of game. I knew it was most likely going to overwhelm me and it did. However, against all my negative experiences with large amounts of world building and my tiny CPU spacage, I actually fucking fell in love with this game. And not just with the game, I specifically fell in love with the aspect of the game that required me to engage with the world building. Like, I wanted to explore and discover all the lore and tiny details about the story that the game designers had put together so intricately for me. Yes, I was still fucking bloody overwhelmed like 90% of the time, but I was okay with that and I kind of enjoyed it most of the time. Okay, so Outer Wilds converted a non-world building fan into a world building fan, so if you're considering playing the game and you're like, nah, world building isn't for me, trust me, I was the same and I don't know how but it converted me. So another reason why I find Outer Wilds profound and honestly kind of important to play is because I believe it reflects an anxiety held by a lot of humanity in regards to how we are always worried about the destination rather than the journey. We always have the next goal we need to reach, be it to graduate school, then get a job, then get a family, or whatever goals you may be working on. 
It's this never-ending chase and fulfillment that comes with a cycle like this or unfulfillment. Because anyone who has ever set a goal, suffered through the journey, and finally reached the goal grasping for air, knows firsthand that the euphoria and excitement of having achieved that goal doesn't last very long. It feels great, don't get me wrong, but it's short-lived and quickly replaced by the next big goal because there's always something more, something higher to achieve. And I don't even know if it's necessarily our fault like the fault of the individual for thinking that way. When taking a step back to look at how most societies in modern day run, they reflect the ideals of output, output, output. It doesn't matter what obstacles you faced getting there or what's going on. This project needs to get done on time or this product needs to be produced or whatever it may be. We are a culture fixated on just reaching the next big goal. We never can appreciate the beauty that is the journey and hell, the journey is 99% of it. That's the part where life is. Outer Wilds, through its gameplay and design, reflects and emphasizes this notion that it is about the journey rather than the destination. And that's just so fucking beautiful, man. <laughs> I'm a person that often gets caught up in that cycle of setting goals and losing touch with the process between here and the goal. And Outer Wilds helped bring that back into perspective. Outer Wilds is entirely about the journey and boy, is it a good one. Here are some other positives I'd like to rattle off to try to convince you to play. One being the amount of free will that you have over the gameplay. You can choose where you go and what to do and when to do it. The exploring isn't halted by invisible walls or anything like that. It's only limited by your own knowledge of the game. They make reading all of the text, which there is a lot of, engaging with the interesting way the language works. You get to scan these fun little spirals and stuff. Plus, if you don't really like reading, they outline the important ones in orange, so you honestly would probably be fine with just reading those. And you can fucking roast marshmallows, dude. Like, roast them and eat them. Maybe that's not a big deal to you, but that's a fucking huge deal to me. The only small spoiler that I will give, and I promise it's not related to the story, so don't worry, is that you don't have to fucking burn your marshmallows. I went 30 hours of gameplay incinerating every single marshmallow I ever roasted over a campfire. Like every single one was black until literally at the very end I realized you can slowly roast it. So just if you decide to play, you, you don't have to burn your marshmallows. And lastly, the game's uniqueness cannot be overstated. I never have experienced a game quite like this, and I don't know I ever will again. It has all of these unique components working in unison to create a one-of-a-kind game, and the premise is pretty unique on its own. I honestly wouldn't be super surprised if this game influences other games to come in the future, but overall, it's a game worth your time. So play the game. I promise, there's something in there for you. Thanks for watching. And if somehow I failed to convince you or you just don't have the time to play it yourself, I have a live stream of my experience with the game here on my channel. And also, if you would like an in-depth analysis of the game that would include spoilers, leave a comment below. I'd totally be down to do a cool project like that. Thanks again for watching, consider subscribing, and have a wonderful day. And don't burn your marshmallow. <laughs>